That is not looking good. Oh, what a disaster. We're doing another route on Mirko Island. Now, in the last video, I played a route with the HST and then the creator of the map, Aloria, recommended this scenario, which is called Brayburn Direct. After a special event in Brayburn, this charter service will be taking everybody directly back to Gretown. This should be an easy drive for you as long as nothing goes wrong on the line. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Okay, so. I have got the Valenta pack, the Class 43 Enhancement pack from Armstrong Powerhouse. And here it is. It looks amazing. The exterior has been modelled um, with like enhancements and improvements to the textures. The interior is, well, everything is like interactive now. It's really cool. We've got a cab light finally, which is so useful, and a two tone horn that you can control direct, like, um, independent from each other. Yay! So, I need to remember how to set this thing up. So I think what you do, you push that forward. Then you've got the warning. Press Q to get rid of that. Um, now we need to do, get rid of the marker lights. Um, now, no, put on the marker lights. There we go. Uh, what next? I think that push that up. Get rid of the brake. I think we're ready to go. And then we... Can we go? Yes. Are we going to move? Yay! It's not that, it's not that difficult. Um, but yeah, you do actually need to set up the... Oh, that's cool. Can you, like, hold it in a position now? No, you can't, but okay, that's fine. So yeah, the interior has definitely been improved. It does look pretty cool. We've got, like, this clag setting, so I can turn up the clag. And we can make it really smoky. Oh, that is so cool. Um, what else? So we've got dynamic exhaust effects, a DVD, which is a driver vigilance device, which I think... Oh, is it, does it appear on there? I don't know, but um, it's not active on this train because this train is like one of the earliest um, Class 43s that you could get. Um, so it's like way before all the automatic warning system stuff. Although we do actually have one of these, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, right. Then we've got parking brake train supply, fire alarm test. Can we use that? No, we can't use that. That's a bit weird. Um, and yeah, just the sound is really improved, as you can hear. There is sort of a passenger view. Wow, look at that. Look at the smoke. You can only really move between there and there, though. Now, one thing that did annoy me is that Armstrong Powerhouse sell a Mark III coach pack, and I bought it, but unfortunately, that just... Um, it's standalone. It doesn't improve all the Mark III coaches, so unfortunately, it was pretty much useless. Um, you'd have to create scenarios that use it, which is kind of annoying, but uh, yeah. Headlights, I think I've got them off. Let's put them on. Does that do anything? Can we... I mean, yeah, we can't actually see them. It's not It's not that dark in this tunnel, to be fair. Woohoo! So, where are we going today? We're going to Gretown. From Brayburn. So, that's where we set off from. And Gretown is all the way up here. Okay. Right, we've got a 60 coming up. I'm just going to sort of coast from here. Here we've got accurate acceleration and braking physics. I mean, this train was pretty powerful in the base game. It seems to um, accelerate pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, look. A nice sort of deltic there, I think. Now that noise sounds different. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they've changed. Like, yeah, the internal and external audio has been changed, so it sounds different when a train passes. Yeah, it's brilliant. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a bit more Mirko Island. I didn't plan to do this HST route, but um, the developer of the map said try this route, and I want to try it out in this scenario. I'll leave a link to the scenario and the um, map, and also this Valenta. Valenta Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack. So you can check it out. Right, let's get some brakes on. We're going to go 60 through here. So we've got lots of, like, go vias here. That was 31 miles away. Where is the station, though? 40 no Wow. It's going to, going to be a long journey today. I don't know if... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. See, I think, because it's called the Valenta pack, there are lots of different um, Armstrong Powerhouse enhancement packs for the Class 43, because they all have different like engines. 
and you can tell the older style because they have like these bar headlights it's like a bar either side of the radiator i guess whereas on the new one they're like in their own sort of little section the headlights they're like um i don't know how to describe it like they're, they're holes for the headlights whereas this is just a big glass screen you know we can actually power up and go look at that clag Love it. It just would be nice if we had a passenger view, but no. So yeah, look at this scenery. Fictional route, of course. We've got some very interesting looking like valley here. Going down here, I'm just gonna break a bit. He said this route takes about 60 minutes. But from my experience in train sim, you can take about 10% off that, y you know, it doesn't really take that long usually. Actually, it's, it's, top, it's high and then low, isn't it, for the horn? Oh, that sounded weird. Hey, look at that! Yeah, independently controlled horn is just an amazing feature. speed up a bit. See, the cabin, I, f I don't know. They haven't done too much to the modelling of the interior of the cabin. A few things, maybe, like that light there. But, um, oh. Yeah, it's, um, it's just a good pack. I would definitely recommend it. If you, if you drive the Class 43 a lot, like I do. Whoa, whoa. Um, yeah, get it, definitely. So you only need two bits of DLC for this. I think it's the... Ooh. Is it the... I'll, I'll have a look. Mirko Island. I'll just look it up. Mm, no, Mirko Island train. So there it is. Right. So you need... Edinburgh to Glasgow. And there's one more. The West Coast Mainline North, which I have. So, um, yeah. Now, where are we going today? We're going from Gretheim, which is the second largest town on the island, and an industry hotspot. And then we're heading to... Oh, we're heading from Brayburn, even. The Forgotten Town. This small town in the valley of the Brayburn Hills is a really quiet place, and many residents come here to get away from the noise of the city. Interesting. But there is a um, high-speed line between them. That's interesting. Oh, hang on. What, which, what, which way are we heading? Is it that way? Yeah, there we go. That is a really cool view, though, isn't it? And you can switch between there. Anyway. Right, it looks like we're going up a hill. So let's give a bit more welly. Oh, look, I'm watching my last video. <laughs> uh. Okay. Here we go. Notch 5, let's go. I want to get to 125 today. Because this thing on the move sounds amazing. The next scenario I'm going to be doing will be a freight one on this island. And then I think that'll be it for my look at uh, Mirko Island. I'll move on to another route that someone suggested, which I think is the Falmouth Bran Branch Enhancement, which is really cool. Someone's taken an old route and just enhanced it on the workshop, which is really cool. Because you hear news of an accident on the line. More information is to follow. Uh-oh. That's going to slow us down a bit. I think we passed through this town last time. There's a lot of detail in this map. Now, I wonder if the um, map creator is watching this, you might be able to enlighten me on something. In workshop maps, a lot of them don't have named train stations, like there isn't a sign on the train station for the name. Why is that? Is it just impossible to mod that in? Um, would you have to create like your own models, I suppose? I, I, I don't know. 
you just expect to see on the platform like a name of the station, but I haven't been able to see one. Door open and close sign. So yeah, you can get this Azure speech engine thing, which they use in Flight Sim, which makes the speech quality much uh, more realistic, like human-like. But you have to pay a premium subscription for that. And I'm, I mean, I've already paid quite a bit for RW2. Does make the game look good though. Another graphic enhancement I've got is the um, Armstrong Power have weather enhancement. But as you can see today, there is no weather. It's just a completely clear sky. So we're not going to see much today. But uh, yeah, we, we, when we do another map, which has got weather, another scenario, we'll um, we'll see some nice weather, I'm sure. Now, if we look at the scenario, can we see where the accident has actually happened? Could it be here? No idea. All right, we're really motoring now. Oh yeah. If you're wondering for the high and low horn, it's B for the high, and then space for the low, so that's pretty cool. Now there is a scenario pack that comes with this map, you have to install it manually, it's on the workshop page, but then if you just search for Mirko Island or look at Aloria's um, workshop page, you can see some of the other scenarios that have been created by them. You can actually hear like the, uh, what do you call it, the um, information on the platform, which is pretty cool. See, when I click off the, off the screen, the uh, RW2 stuff disappears, which is a bit weird, but anyway. I'm going 120. This is going to be a high speed run for sure. And we're by that weird part of the seaside, which is really loud. Seagulls, but there you go. Let's have a quick drink. See, so if I, I think train simulation is going to become a regular thing on the channel again. Um, I actually put a bid in on eBay for one of the, one of the rail controllers, train sim controllers, because um, it was like quite cheap, but somebody outbid me and I wasn't prepared to pay anymore. The amazing thing though, not that much supports it and it's been around for years and it's just, it looks a bit like a toy, it's not that great, so um, maybe I dodged a bullet there. Uh, I don't think I'll be getting one anytime soon. I mean, this Armstrong Powerhouse pack doesn't support it. How crazy is that? You'd still have to use this. But it doesn't even support an Xbox controller, this pack. Let's bring the throttle down a bit, because we are now going one, two, five. And I mentioned a few videos ago in Train Sim that I am doing a series of um, workshop showcases, like looking at workshop routes. I'll continue to do that in the future. Oh, there's so much traffic on this route. Yay. That's cool. Whoa, so much traffic. I like the livery, like the, the yellow and blue, it's nice. And we got, um, what have we got? So that's just a normal standard coach, standard coach, standard coach, standard, standard. There's the buffet car and standard. And then we've got two first class. Now, my granddad used to take the train a lot into London. And he said that his wife 
took the same train. <laughs> it's okay. This is fun. this is quite a weird story. I'd, I'd rather he said it than me. But um, he got like expenses because he worked for like the the British government, right? And so did my uh, my grandmother. Um, and he used to get expenses for first class tickets but his wife didn't so she had to sit in second class so at the train station he used to say bye bye i'm got on to first class while she had to go into second class i mean that is uh, oh, oh so weird and i said him would you just pay the just pay the extra to make her get to first class you want to anyway it doesn't matter i am planning to get him on a video one time and i think it will be in train sim because he's hugely into train simulators and um i think he i think it'd be a fun video so I'm hoping by the end of the year I will have him on cam, in video, talking about this game, playing this game, because he's not a gamer, but he, he is interested in it. So yeah. Whoa, we are jostling and jiving. Look at this. We are like bumping around. Anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 70, 70. We've got 70 coming up. There you go, step three. A train is derailed. There'll be more, there'll be delays and disruptions because of this. More information to follow. Uh-oh. A train is derailed. So what's happened then? Oh. Quite a lush, lush looking area up there. Okay, we're slowing down quite well. We have a yellow, oh no, it's green. There we got a green. The, the track actually splits up there. What's happening? So this, whoa, look at all this. Nevitz, and there's Nevitz Station. Oh, I remember that. That's where we started in the last video. Just down there, look. Is that a road? Yeah, look, so up, up there is, can we see it? No, but um, up there is Nevitz. Oh, there's another. Oh, that's a, that's a motorway, right. So despite the fact there's been an accident, we can still go 125. Right, okay. One thing I did notice is that on the workshop page, it says there's a giant bicycle, the ships, I guess that's the ships out at sea, the hedge maze, and people watching the trains at Nevet Central. So... Yeah, it looks like there's Easter eggs in this map that we've got to find somehow. Um, I think I did actually see the giant bicycle the other day, but oh, look at this farm in between like the tracks. Oh, that's really cool. I love the detail, it's great. I haven't seen the hedge maze though, maze, though so maybe we'll um, see that later today. It's a bit bright, isn't it? Can I just maybe turn that down a bit? There you go. I like that you can adjust that on the fly. It's good. Three double-decker buses. <laughs> Not five. Oh my goodness. There's like a double-decker bus rally going on. So the line is electrified, so you could bring your favourite electric train here on a quick drive scenario. Um, I don't know when this is set. This scenario, if I, I can probably look at... No, I can't. Oh! 
Oh no. Uh, oh, that's weird. Oh no, what have I done? Okay, but I'll just have to ignore that. I think. I think I broke it. Okay. Never mind. I don't know what I've done. Okay, I think I fixed it. I don't know what I was doing there, but um, somehow I broke it. So there you go. That's fine now. And now we're zooming away. The good thing about fictional maps is that you can just have that creative freedom. You can do whatever you like. You can be inspired by real world routes. You can just go off the rails, quite literally, um, and um, create anything. The maps do use the models and the textures and stuff from the base games and the DLC, so you're kind of limited by that. But, um, you know, that what we saw in the last video where we were driving through that Nevit Central town right by the streets in an HST it was such a surreal and fun experience and here we are look by a motorway just going along it looks like every time we go via we get a bit of news updates from the from the route so we'll have to see what's going on here it'll say something about the accident that's happened I'm hoping that it won't slow us down too much we are only what 23, we're only 23 miles away as well, so that's quite cool. You will be diverted onto the other line to avoid the accident. Please be aware that there is a speed restriction of 20 miles per hour at the scene of the accident. You will need to be going below 20 when you exit the tunnel. You will need to ask permission to pass the red lights. Okily dokily. I actually see a tunnel there, so um, that is probably the tunnel we're talking about. When I get in, I'll cut the power. It's quite a tight corner, isn't it? We nearly made it to 125, but that's fine. got a green light. Bring it down. Still got a green. Surely when there's an accident, they'd have a, a, a yellow, yep, right? Yep, here we go, here we go. We're going to put full service on. We're kind of slowing down naturally, so that's good. All right, let's have a look at this accident then. I'm kind of interested to see what has happened. Like, I don't even know if it will be in the... Uh, like, we'll actually be able to see it. Is it right there? I can see a train. I get down to about 50. Have we got a red? Oh. What can I see up there? It's a train, but it's like across two tracks, is it? Oh, there's red lights. Where we go? Let's go really slow. That was a bit too much.
Come on. Right, what have we got up here? Oh no! Oh, I've never seen those before! Do you see that? That's like warning signals to tell the drivers of the trains what's going on. Never seen that before. Oh dear. That's not looking good! <laughs> that is not looking good. Oh, what a disaster. Is that... Is that one train? Oh my goodness. That is... Wow. How did that end up there? Oh no. That's really weird. Oh no, it's two trains, look. It's two trains. Train driver in there? No. Are the pa passengers in there? Oh no. We'll get you out. We'll get you out. So there's us going around. What a disaster. Here's a... Look, they're, they're, I don't know what that guy's doing, but he's um, digging them out, I guess. Wow. It's all on fire and stuff and everything. Oh, wow. That is really cool that's in the scenario. Right. I didn't see a red light. So... I think we're okay. Right, one, two, five. Here we go. Now, let's not... Luckily, nobody was hurt. Really? With a train on its side? Fair enough. Continue from here to Gretam, which is in... 18 miles. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. I've never seen that before. I've never seen an accident in a scenario like that. Engine stopped, what? That's weird. Okay, we can pass... Here's the right signal, we can pass a danger. No, it's 40, so are we, are we going down there? Oh no, 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 not emergency. That's too fast, surely. Even 40 is too fast. Wow. Right, let's go. That was, we nearly just had a disaster of our own there. Um, look, just look at all the houses. They go on for miles. Crazy. Oh, look, there's a station here. Don't know what it's... Oh, no, is it a station? No, it's not. It's just a siding. Um, Royal Mail Trucks. That's pretty cool. Um, will the hedge maze be here? Could be. There's a car park. No, I don't know. Just a big station, really. We haven't done many stops today, have we? Oh, there's a cool bridge coming up. Right, okay. Let's get back in. They look quite, I don't know, European houses? Like the kind of things you see in like Germany. I saw a lot of those in Berlin. The sort of three-story houses. We don't, we don't have that many three-story houses in the UK. And this is set in like a fictional place off Scotland. So I guess, yeah, I guess. Scotland takes a lot of inspiration from Scandinavia, so. Alright, we're going for another station. And then I want to see this cool bridge. Now, the best fictional map is probably Marsdenshire, which is a fictional part of the UK made by Just Trains. And it 
it's it's amazing. It's standalone. You don't need any of the other DLC to, to run it. Apart from like the European Community Asset Pack, which is what this train originally came with, that kind of stuff. Um, we've got here's the bridge. It does cost, obviously. That's the only thing. But um, oh, look at this bridge! Wow. Wow. That is an impressive bridge. Where can we best view our train from? One of these light poles? Oh, yeah. I'm liking this bridge a lot. Look at it. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Again, the seagulls. Caravan Park. It's a huge caravan park. Whoa. We get a bit of stutters, but that's just more the game, really. We're bypassing all the stations. These poor people who want to catch a train today, they've got, they've got no luck. Uh, right, I'll lay off the horn now. Um, whoa. It does look good, the texturing on this, doesn't it? Like, can't you see, like, the the panelling is slightly, like, dented from the... I guess it's aluminium? I really don't know. But, like, where they've done the panel beating. Anyway. Whoa. That's weird, I've never had those kind of stutters before. Even on this map. Maybe, maybe I have. I don't know. Could be for any reason. What? What's going on? So we've got the motorway on the right. So I guess that there is a main motorway that goes through the centre of the map. And the train track just sort of shadows it. Anyway, we're getting close now and there's a really cool looking sort of... Um, cloverleaf railway junction. Now I'm just going to speed for a bit because I want to see how fast we can make this thing go. So I want to get to 130. One two five is the, the highest running speed, but we are going down downhill slightly now. So let's see, one two six, good. Oh yeah, we're really motoring now. One two eight. I'm sure with modern technology we can make these HSTs go just that little bit faster. Look, we're still gaining speed, so on this, on this dial here, that little bar around here, if it's green and that going that direction, it means we're accelerating, and if it's red or orange or yellow or whatever, and we're going that direction, it means we're de decelerating, so yeah. Our arrival is going to be 10.01. No. ETA is 9.41. Whoa. That's a big bounce. Yeah, okay. We're going to arrive, arrive away early. And that's not just because I'm speeding, I don't think. Oh! A 
Black 5. It's not moving very fast. Ah. No, it's going to Nevitz. No, Stevening. Wait, what? Oh, we passed another one. Okay. That's cool. Another cool bridge. Yeah, I love this map. They really did a just amazing job. Well done. Like I said, one more video on this map. You're going to get a bit more Murko Island from me. I'm going to go for a freight mission that will be included in the um, scenario pack that comes with the workshop page on the workshop page there. Um, if there is a, like a freight mission you want to recommend me, let me know in the comments down below. But um, I think I found one that I want to try out. So, yeah. We haven't seen like the, the mining area. So I want to go there. There is so much traffic. Right here we are in Gresham. Oh yes. Oh, we've got any... The bridges on this map are just insanely cool. They're like substantial bridges. They are huge. Here we go. Oh. Look at that. Suspension bridge. Oh. I'd love to get out of the train and just have a look around, but this is awesome. Got a freight train passing. Wow. Right, brakes. Oh my goodness, brakes. I can actually see the station up here, I think. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Brakes. I think I've messed up. Let's get the um, handbrake on. I think I've messed up. We're going to emergency. I'll remove the handbrake. I think, I think we'll be okay. Oh, I saved it. That we do. Okay, let's just coast up. Looks like a cool town with a cathedral, a few skyscrapers. It's the second largest city. It's got a lot of industry, look. Now somewhere there'll be a board which tells you where to stop with an HST. Um, there you go. I think it's on there. Yep. Oh, look at that clock there. That's cool. Store depository. Furniture. Depository. Doesn't mean department. Anyway, open the doors. Bang. There we go. That was the Braeburn Direct scenario on the Mirko Island map. I'll leave a link to the map, the scenario, and this um, HST enhancement pack by Armstrong Powerhouse. They're all worth getting, in my opinion. Now, it looks like this scenario won't finish for a very long time because we're about 20 minutes early. So I'm just going to finish here. Um, but if you want to see more train sim, Click the video on screen right now. It's where I look at a route um, around Swindon, where I look at a branch line. It's a pretty cool route. If you want to support the channel, why not get a channel membership? Thank you very much my Ultra Sim fan, Omar Mandy. You can find out more about the channel memberships by clicking the join button below. And I will see you soon for some more simulator adventures.